Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have my February wrap up. The first book that I read in February was About Us by Margaret Holbrook. I have a full review for this book which I will leave in the down bar. Margaret is a friend of mine and I very much enjoyed reading this. It is a contemporary romance novel that spans 25 years and involves a couple discussing the trials that come with a modern marriage. Next I read Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin on my Kindle. This was a NetGalley edition and I have to say that I didn't really enjoy this book. I intended to record a review for this but I don't think it's going to happen. Basically it is this woman in a hospital bed regaling this boy with a tale about her and his mother and it was very confusing and I didn't really see that it had any point. It was a very short monologue and I feel like it might be one of those books that when it is read in its original language it might be quite good but people were saying this was like some psychological horror story and I just didn't get that. I thought it was poorly written and all over the place and I don't understand why people are saying it is as good as it is. Maybe I missed something. Next I read The Nix by Nathan Hill. I have another full review that I will link somewhere and again this is a really great debut novel. I don't dispute that. I feel like it needed more refining and it is very much a debut novel. It's a very impressive debut novel but there needed to be... I felt that Nathan Hill strove to tie up the loose ends too much and although I enjoyed the links to the classic authors like Dickens and I enjoyed how the style felt somewhat reminiscent of Dickens and Donna Tartt. I couldn't get past the fact that it did feel like a lot of other fiction that we have at the moment and I just wished for some more originality. Next I read Smoke Gets In Your Eyes by Caitlin Doty who runs the Ask a Mortician series on YouTube and I enjoyed this book. It is a collection of stories about her work as a mortician and there are some comical moments and you're learning more about the death industry which wasn't something that I thought that I would be reading about earlier this year and I enjoyed it. I'm glad that I got the book out of the library because I don't think I'd necessarily read it again but it's definitely an enjoyable read and if you are interested in the Ask a Mortician series or interested in finding more about different death cultures then it's probably a book that you're going to enjoy. Next I read a Deadly Thought by Sarah Ward. This is the second book in a series starring DC Connie Child and I have a review for this that I will leave a link to. Needless to say I enjoyed this book and I am glad to have read some crime fiction this month. Next I listened to Equal Rights by Terry Pratchett. This is the third of the Discworld novels and is the third that I've listened to. I'm downloading them all on Audible and trying to find them in charity shops. Years ago it used to be that you could find them everywhere, now it seems that you can't. I am still really enjoying this, although I don't think that I enjoyed Equal Rights as much as I did the first two books. I have been interested in the Granny Weatherwax stories for a while and this I've heard is more like a prequel to those that set of books. So I did enjoy it, I enjoyed the humour, I enjoyed seeing it hearing about this woman trying to enter into the wizarding world and it reminded me somewhat of Carry On At Your Convenience, you know, minus the sexism. I've said this before, Terry Pratchett is very good at evoking the classic British humour that I'm rather fond of and so this was a great book for me to listen to. I think that Terry Pratchett's books work really well as audiobooks and that Celia Emery did a great job of narrating this book and I'm currently listening to more and that is just as fantastic and might actually be my favourite out of the four that I've listened to so far, so we shall see. Next I read The Lost Story of the William and Mary by Jill Hoffs. I have a review for this that I will leave a link to somewhere and this is a brilliant piece of non-fiction about a shipwreck that happened in the 1800s and gives more of an idea of what the world was like at the time as well as exploring this man's cowardice and I like finding out about historical um, figures and have already thought about maybe including something similar in a fantasy novel down the road, so thanks Jill. Next I read Pachinko by Minion Lee. I first saw this book on Squibbles Reads channel at, earlier this year and I am really glad that I did. I enjoyed this book thoroughly and will be recording a review of it at some point. I received it on the Saturday and immediately began reading it and I finished it by Sunday night because it is just an enthralling read. 
it is somewhat similar to Homegoing in that it is following the generations of a family following this um, young girl's unexpected pregnancy and rather than bring shame to her family she ends up in a marriage of convenience and it was an incredible book that I am extremely pleased to have read. I found out more about Korean Japanese culture that I hadn't heard about before and is definitely going to be on my favourites list of the year. Finally I read The Antiques by Chris D'Agostino. This is a extremely humorous book. I read it in one sitting, one evening after work and it follows this family after the father of the family has died, all of his children come back together to for his funeral and just to kind of get back some of what they were. It's about a family who has forgotten what they mean to each other and they are coming back together to figure out what they mean to each other now and to sort their lives out. And it's a humorous book, it's probably a light holiday read and my only problem is that the next day I received an email telling me about the writer's first book and it sounded very similar to this book and I found out that he does kind of use a lot of his own life events in his work which is perfectly fine and I know that a lot of writers do it but I just think that because of this book and having just read the, this book the two books seem very similar and I just want to know that the writer is capable of writing something different. Anyway, that was the books. If you have any questions about them, please feel free to ask them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, that is all.